why not to use glycol ether for um, isocide machine, machine flushes or cleaning? Glycol ether and iso react badly together. They do not mix well. This is glycol ether and iso that has sat for a day in a cylinder. As you can see, it's hard as rock. If you are using glycol ether to maintain your ISO side, we highly, highly recommend that you either have a good flush out procedure or not to use it if you don't understand the reaction process between glycol ether and isocyanides. This is an actual very severe case where they left a lot in the system. This is a light case which kind of has an oatmeal consistency where they got roughly five gallons of ISO into, or sorry, five gallons of glycol ether into the ISO side. It has kind of a oatmeal-y, mushy texture to it. So either one, you can tell if this is in your machine or in your heater core, is gonna have a detrimental effect to your machine and your application process.